Guys, this Lana, Ron and Casey's triangle storyline, it's just not giving. I don't know how many days I can take of the Lana and Ron saga. I just feel like it's dragging now. It's giving Lana Island, it's giving Gemma Island, it's giving Lucy Island. Hey guys, it's Marab Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video where, you know, we have another episode. The ratings, interesting, I want have been revealed and after Zara left, over 200,000 people left with her. So the ratings dropped quite, you know, not massively, but it's, it's, a, it's a significant drop after her being, you know, surprisingly dumped, which goes to show that people genuinely wanted to see her on the show. Now, there's talks of her returning as a Casamore contestant. She's down to do it. Will Love Island bring her back as a Casamore contestant? Maybe, maybe not. Do you guys want to see a return? as a Casamore contestant is obviously the main question, but you know, the ratings are steady at 1 million, but they're not obviously taking off. So just interesting to see that drop. I was waiting to see if there was gonna be a rating slump with her being departed, and that definitely has taken place. So, you know, we're seeing this Ron stuff, and the fact that Lana's gone back to Ron, or was going to go back to Ron, or has the intention to go back, and they're obviously getting close in the trailer for the next episode as well, was quite predictable. You know, it's giving Millie, it's giving somebody who wants to just return to somebody, that's just what she wants to do, that's her prerogative, and you know, it just goes to show that Ron can really use her as a safety net for when he wishes to. Will she get done over again when Casa Amor comes next week, or something along those lines? Maybe, guys, maybe. And of course, Casey, I feel sorry for him now. He's being played, he's been toyed, he's being used as, fortunately, a placeholder for Lana. So whilst Lana's being used for Ron, Casey's being used for Lana. So Lana can't really sit here and be the damsel in distress because she's doing the same thing to him and clearly he's irritated by it. Unfortunately, that's just part of the parcel. Once you come into the villa later on and you try to intercept a couple that is somewhat on the, you know, breaks and nothing's really going on there's a high charge that you could be left and she could jump into that car with that man and drive 100 miles an hour now no matter how many times they put it on the brakes. So that's what's happening to Casey, which means that he's going to be vulnerable, which also means that he might not have, you know, a lot of time left in the villa because he doesn't seem to have anybody else in there for him. And that is why he seems to be quite bothered and upset by what is going on. I feel like Olivia just wants to give off main character vibes, but it's just not happening. I just feel like, you know, the way she's pulling Tanya to a side and saying, you know what, like, you know, does she have a problem with me? Like, what's going on? The way she's making all the girls turn against me. She's running around and saying things about me and, you know, etc., etc. When number one, you've been talking about Tanya behind other people's backs, so you can't really call that number one. Number two, it's just a game, it's just a challenge. So she, it was nothing personal, I believe, Sammy. I'm beginning to like Sammy, she's growing on me because I feel like she's having the right conversations. She's having the right conversations with the right people and getting them clued up, which makes you seem across likable to the audience. But number two, it's great for the producers as well because it engineers storylines and gets them going to the next step, which is what the audience wants to see. Because one thing about Love Island, if a triangle between three people drags for too long, people will begin to get upset. And people online have been complaining that this episode is boring and that they're not feeling it in any regards. So it looks like there's some kind of, you know, tension looming between Sammy and Olivia. This is the third girl now. It's Olivia versus Zara. Then it's Olivia versus Tanyelle. Then it's Olivia versus Sammy. It looks like it's just Olivia and somebody else. She is the common denominator. She is the major component that people have an issue with. And so, you know, that seems to be something that is going to be repeated 110%. Olivia seems to be the main issue. Now, I also feel like these challenges, like, I feel like we don't need these challenges. It's giving Love Island 2021. That's what it's kind of giving to me the Ladiators challenge. If a challenge does not feed into storylines I don't know why they're really there it's quite boring we want the headline challenge the Twitter challenge and all this kind of stuff now granted it did bring some kind of tension between Sammy and Olivia so you know it wasn't completely pointless but at the same time I don't think that people want to watch people either jumping around like that as much it shouldn't be a high volume in terms of empty challenges if that makes sense I do think that I still stand by the fact that this is a good cast you know um, I don't think it's a bad cast I just don't think that there's much going on with the cast and they're not as interested in each other. Although, you know, for the girls, they are the one pulling, I feel, when it comes to this season, because they seem to be quite divided. This wasn't the case a couple years ago. They were normally quite together, and there was the boys messing up, but they seem to be very much divided, and that in itself is carrying um, to an extent, but I feel like, you know, Olivia definitely is the common denominator. Um, she wants to be the main character. She wants to be the main person, but unfortunately, that's just not going to happen, um, and people are just not buying into it, and I think that she is 
overthinking, which is what Tanya said, like you're overthinking. Tanya, she didn't add to the conversation or agree with um, Olivia. If you rewind and watch it, she was like, I don't know. And also maybe you're overthinking. So, you know, these are certain signs here. And, you know, she's very much aware that Tanya brings over Lana or Sammy's bringing over Tanya or Lana, but you were doing the same thing about Tanya when Spencer got dumped. You were quick to have a, a comment here and there without her presence being there. So surely you're doing the same thing. Jordan, I genuinely thought he would bring more to the villa as a bombshell, but I haven't seen much of him. So as of right now, from the edit he's been given, it's giving furniture. Like I'm not seeing much of him as a person and I do wonder why, but I definitely feel like Ron, Kai and Olivia are three certain people and Lana, for certain people who are definitely going to be in this competition for a while um, in terms of, you know, Casa Amor and ruptures for drama. Then I think Shaq and Tanya will be in there, of course, because they are the strongest couple in there alongside Will and Jesse. Um, and, you know, those two, I think, will be tested a lot in Casa Amor, but I don't think either of those two couples will break. And even if they do break, it will be a temporary break. It won't be for that long. Um, Casey clashes with Ron. The way I just have no script, it's just weirdly in my mind. Um, they clash. Um, slightly at the end and of course you know Ron's just like I want to just leave it up to her to see what she wants to do now Lana returning back to him I just feel like it's just a no-go why would you not just leave him and go for a man who's come in there and who has been certified by Tom as somebody who's actually interested in you why would you return back to Ron are the producers hands in this situation are they trying to do something or is that genuinely just her feelings but unfortunately she's going to be played by a fiddle I do not see this relationship working on the outside even if it works on the inside post Casa Amor and they get to the finale and etc I'm just not buying it right now I don't see the sparks flying between them and when they are on TV I'm just not as interested I'm on my phone I'm you know eating something I'm not really like glued to the screen so I think this was you know giving filler this episode it wasn't really giving much I know some people in the comments are annoyed when I say that it's called boring when Zara left but that's just how I personally feel I just don't think it's giving as much um she would just the, the whole Zara Olivia Tom storyline dragged as well let's be real but at least they gave us some kind of arguments <laughs> when you look at the triangle side by side they gave us something whereas for like these conversations they're repetitive they're kind of the same they you know they go back and forth and we're not seeing as much can't really blame blame the producers because you can only cast people who can only do so much but I think that, you know, um, I still stand by the fact there's a good five to six people in here that I do like and have potential in the show. I just think when you dump certain people who have big presences, it, it's a ripple effect and it affects everything. And that's just what I'm just really seeing. So it's giving filler. Don't really know what else to speak about. So this is going to be a short review literally eight minutes but Sammy is growing on me I feel like she has the right conversations and I like that in her I didn't expect that in her I didn't expect the potential in her I just saw her as somebody who will be a filler but she's definitely giving you know that like she's not afraid to have those conversations it was just water thrown on her or whatever it was it wasn't intentional it's a game it's a challenge and I don't know why Olivia would think that if it was Tanya, then maybe because they've had some kind of friction beforehand I don't know why she even expects Tanya to ask if she's okay because you just had a conversation and you're just saying things behind her back so why would you now expect her to be your knight in shine armor let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this quick review. Who are your favorites? Who do you guys like? Do you guys agree or disagree with what I'm saying? Sometimes I do tend to moan I apologize for that. I know some people find it annoying. I do moan here and there. Maybe my friends know me to be a moaner, guys. I cannot lie to you. When I don't like something, I just moan. So I just feel like there are some times here and there where I will be moaning and I'm just sorry for that. But I just feel like I'm not rushing them to watch it. Let, let me just say that. Um, but let me know your thoughts are. Oh, somebody commented saying that this could be the end of Love Island or they have that they feel like it is and I do think that you know when we bring in international islanders that already is a major sign guys or pre-islanders a major is a major sign guys I feel like it just needs to be once a year I think that's just the main because yeah I, let me just shut up but anyway let me know what your thoughts are um, agree or disagree comment down below and I'll catch you guys soon for another video